Hey guys, what's going on? Doran Code here. I've got a bit of a tutorial on busing today and um, Reason 7 was announced uh, earlier this week or last week and they said they were going to revolutionize this entire thing or at least in Reason and uh, I'm going to show you how I've done it so far. So what you can hear here is a bit of a hip hop beat that I've been working on. I've just slapped this together in like five minutes and um, it's nice. It sounds all right, but the drums lack a bit of punch and that's why I would like to bust them together and apply some compression and some saturation onto the whole mix. And there are two methods you can do this. First, I'm going to show you how to do it in Reason 1 through 5, and then I'll show you how to do it with the big, with the big mixer in Reason 6.5, or Record as well. Okay, so um, these are the audio tracks, and uh, you can just see them as individual sources. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to show you how to do it with this big mixer first. So what I like to do is, um, first I like to uh, apply some effects to the individual tracks. Like this one is empty, this one is, is two. Uh, actually all empty, so that's alright as well. <laughs> so I like to apply my effects and then I like to um, use some effects on this mixing desk as well. You can see one of them's got a little bit of compression on there and some filtering, some high pass filtering right here. So yeah, that's all well. Uh, that's all nice and good. Okay, so what we will do now is we will bust them together into a new mixer channel. So what I'll do is I'll create utility mix channel and that will create this. So I'll just call this drum bus. Okay, and I'll open that up. Oh, let me also, uh, how do I color these again? Uh, track color and that's wheat. Okay, cool. Um, what I'll do now is I'll go to the insert effects and I'll just make it so that it's in there so that um, the mixer that I'm about to create um, is not outside so that stuff that I create outside doesn't get routed to this one. And uh, this one is connected to the insert effects from device but we don't want that. We want to connect the master out to the input of this drum bus. Um, now it will say external routing but that's all fine because it's not going to have any other inputs. Um, okay, now uh, what I will do is I'll take the direct outs from all these drums and start putting them into this mixer. And I'm go quickly going to go over what the direct outs are because they're really, really useful and I don't think enough people use them. Okay, so let's say, uh, let me just pick a single element here, audio track 2. Just some drums. And if we go to the SSL console, audio track 2 is right here. And also you get some signal on the drum bus, but that's not important right now. Audio track 2 is right here. And I can start applying effects to audio track 2. For example, I can filter it using this SSL uh, console. And I can apply some compression. That's all nice. But what happens... Um, when uh, this signal passes through this chain, which it does from top to bottom, it will arrive at the fader. And then the direct out allows you to uh, send audio from the rack to the, uh, to the mixer section and then back into the rack. So what I'm essentially doing now is I'm sending audio through this SSL console and I can mix it individually there, that's all nice. But then it arrives back here at the direct out instead of in my uh, audio interface. And now from the direct out, it goes into this mixer and this mixer sends it to the input of yet another SSL section. So the, um, the signal chain that you gotta imagine, it goes as follows. We've got signal that's in the rack. It goes through audio track two, then ends down here, but then cycles back up and also goes through this drum bus section. And that allows us to, if I unsolo this, or if I solo all these drums, in fact. Uh, so those are three drums, and then here's some as well. That allows us to adjust the level of our entire drum section, which is now called drum bus. Now, keep in mind, because we're sending this through two SSL channels, if you solo one of them on the SSL, then um, because the drum bus is not on, it will stop exactly here at this mixer. It will go through this, and you can also see it's, there's output there, but it will go back up and go through this entire chain and end up here, and this is muted. So you always got to activate um, 
you always gotta activate why is this low passed all oh, right you always gotta activate um the um, particular bus that you're working with as well though uh, what, from what we could see in reason 7 that's not the case um, okay but let's not talk about reason 7 let's talk about uh, busing in reason 6.5 um, now we've got this drum bus and the nice thing about this is we can use these effects to um, work with the entire drums so we can filter the entire drum section by using the SSL channel script, we can compress the entire drum section, or we can even use insert effects. So, what I can do now is I can in, uh, start putting insert effects after this master out. So, what I will do is maybe let's uh, compress this thing a little bit and then also uh, apply some saturation. So, what I will do is go to Studio Effects and use the excellent Softube FET compressor and route that in and Go into the input, okay. So now what's happening is all these drums go into this compressor and then end up here and then end up in this bus. Okay, so if I play this back now, you can see that the compressor is compressing the entire drums and I'm just gonna go all brutal on this one uh, and thrash the signal a little bit and then do parallel compression so I'll inject the dry signal and that just fattened the drums up. So before, very dry drums. And then with the compression, it really brings the room up, which is quite nice. Of course, adjust your levels properly. And then I'll also uh, use the saturation knob to apply some saturation. So now we're affecting the entire uh, drum mix, which is all these five channels. And I can still mix them individually. So here's the tambourine, for example. Here's the shaker. And of course, I can also um, use the SSL individually. So if I want to filter the shaker, for example, on the right side. That's all possible. But the nice thing is that we can also apply effects to the entire section or just move the fader and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's really nice. But um, let's say you don't have this uh, rack or this, this I'm sorry, this SSL emulation console. So you can still do it in Reason 5 quite easily. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have um, the appropriate devices right here because all I have is audio tracks in this tune. Um, so what I'll do is just, um, I'll show you the method, how you can do it in Reason 5, but using this uh, audio, this section of audio tracks as an audio source. But remember, this can be any instrument, anything. So what I would usually do is, let's say, um, yeah, let's create a mix channel over here. And um, that's gonna be our reason five out. Let's just call it that. So let's assume this is the uh, or the um, audio out device of reason five. And then what it usually looks like is you've got um, a combinator with an M class mastering suite. So let me just load that up. If I go to combinator patches, oh, actually that's M class mastering patches, and then load the default mastering suite. And then I'll go create a mixer and connect those. And this is how it usually looks in Reason 5. Um, now let's say you don't want these individual drum channels to be in this mixer. Then what you can do is create another mixer. Um, that's another mixer 14.2. And once again, we'll connect the direct outs to this mixer. Like this. And I'll just use the same, uh, or maybe I'll, I'll go with uh, Reason 4 devices. So I'll use a compressor, and I don't want this as an auxiliary channel, but as an insert effect, like that, and some Scream 4 distortion. Okay, so if I play this back now, um, what we've just done is we've routed all these audio tracks, or in this case, it could be any instrument, to a mixer before we are sending it to the main mixer. And now here we can just call this 
uh, drums, and there you call it, can call it drum bus distortion. Okay, is that written correctly? Yes. Um, so now what what's happening is this is summed up by this mixer, and in the main mixer, let's say this is the main mixer, you've got a bus for the drums. So that's pretty much the same, only that they're in different mixes instead of um, next to each other. And then I can just as well go ahead and um, compress this a little bit. And then give it some distortion. I'm sorry about that. Let's back up on the damage control. And there you have pretty much the same effect um, as with this busing up here in the main SSL console. Now, I know that it's really late to deliver this video because when Reason 7 comes out, this is going to change dramatically. But I thought I might still make this video just so that you can see um, yeah, how you can bus in Reason 4, Reason 5. Maybe you have one of the older versions. Or also, if you just want to do it um, within the track, without mixer channels, if you don't want to clutter up your SSL, if you just want to sum a couple of um, synth devices, you can also use this mixer for bussing quite nicely. And I kind of prefer the mixer for bussing um, over the uh, spider because it simply has more inputs. Okay, so uh, that was my little tutorial on bussing in Reason uh, 1 through 5 and also Reason 6, as well as Record. So, before I end this video, I would like to direct your attention to the new website tracks24.com, who actually sponsored this tutorial. As you can see, um, they're kind of like a music, music marketing and production blog and a hub for everyone, as they stated in their intro here. Um, right now, they've got a special offer. Uh, that you register with your email address and then you get access to the VIP area where you can find all the tutorials. But they also provide nice blog articles and interviews with people who really know their way about the business. For example, crowdfunding music with Amanda Palmer was a good article, I think. Uh, MC Hammer now a social media music marketing guru. Uh, YouTube promotion for musicians, insights into a 180,000 views video campaign. It's all about getting your music out there and um, trying to market yourself as a musician. So I recommend definitely checking that website out. And if it's something for you, then yeah, sign up and give it a try. So yeah, thanks again for watching Darren Cutout.